how to compute the strength of T-beams using the 2015 NSCP Part 2. Hi, hello, welcome back to Gilisanya Engineering Videos, your daily supply of solutions to engineering problems. If you like what you see, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified every time we upload new videos. Alright, so in this video, we'll have part 2 of this series. So the part 1 of the series, we if you have watched that, uh, we have that case wherein the depth of the compression block is less than the thickness of the slab. So A less than T. So in this series, we will discuss, in this part, we will discuss the case wherein the depth of the uh, compression concrete or the compression block is more than the thickness of the slab. Alright? Okay, so let's have this example uh, problem. So determine the design strength of the T-beam shown. Okay, this is much narrower than what we have in our part 1. So given the width of the flange, effective width is uh, 750 mm, the flange thickness or the slab thickness is 100 mm, the effective depth to the tension bar is 600 mm, the width of the web is 360 mm, our FC prime is 27.5, our FY is 414 megapascal. And by the way, the tension bars I 8, 28mm bars. So, walong 28mm bars lahat. Okay, so how will you start? So, just like what we did in the first part. Uh, well, if that part, if you have watched that, uh, sinol pa natin yung effective depth. So, dito hindi ko na lang, ano, dinaretso ko na lang. No? I just give the effective depth. This is just an illustration, actually. Well, in real practice, you have to, marami pa yan, may covering pa yan, meron pa yan stirrup, no? may mga spacings pa na dapat mong i-consider. So, for illustration purposes, uh, pre-provide ko na lang yung kanyang <coughs> sorry, effective depth. Okay, so first, compute natin yung steel area. The steel area AS is 828mm bars. Ito. And that's equal to 4,926 square mm. And by the way, our beta 1, uh, unahin na lang natin muna yung beta 1. For our beta 1, our FC prime is less than 28 MPA. So the, your beta 1 is equal to 0.85. Alright? So since your FC prime is less than 28 MPA. And let's compute na lang din the flange area. Okay? This one, 750 times 100. The flange area. And that's 75,000 square mm. Just make that a practice whenever you are solving T-beams. Okay, so anong gagawin natin? So again, as what I mentioned in part 1, and ulitin ko naman ulit, na, uh, the first step here is to determine whether the steel will yield or not. Kasi it will really matters whether it will yield or not. But, as what I mentioned before, in most steel beams, because of the very wide compression area, the neutral axis or the value of C is very small compared to a rectangular beam. So, nandito lang banda. Kadalasan, mababa yan. So that in most cases, the tension still will yield. Okay? So it's a very safe assumption. If you, if you do it, you are 95% correct. Or I can say 99%. Kasi you know why? Para hindi mag yung steel, you will be needing napakaraming steel bar. And that would be unreasonable for a certain shape or dimension of the beam. Okay? So assuming... Uh, the tension steel will yield. So we have here uh, compressive force in concrete equals the tension in steel. The compressive force is con in concrete is equal to 0.85 FC prime times, do not say AB, ha? say the times the area of the compression concrete or A sub C. And then the tension in steel is ASFY. Uh, ito yun. Okay? So take note, ha? FC prime times A sub C. Wag yung sabihin A, B, A times B. Uh, most students sa sanay doon kasi rectangular beam. Wag. Pag hindi rectangular beam, do not use that. Ah? So, A, C, the area of the compression concrete. So, with FC prime, FY, and AS known, we can solve the value of the area of the compression concrete. And that will give you 87,246 square mm. Okay? So, as you can see, it is more than the area of the flange. The flange area is 75,000. The required area of concrete in compression is 87,000. 
So unlike in our first example, wherein mas malaki yung plunge area kaysa doon sa AC, kaya your A is less than the thickness of the slab. In this case, well, obviously, your A will lalagpas dito sa web. Na? Your A, part of the web, a uh, part of A will cover or will uh, uh, be on the web. Ayan. Ito yung ating, not really NA, no? that's the depth. Yang red na yan, that is your A. Lagpas sigurado. 87,000 against 75,000. So, lalagpas tayo. Okay, so let's divide the concrete areas into like this. Uh, this is much uh, convenient to do. Ito yung A natin. And then ito naman ay 750 minus 360 divided by 2. So, each of this is uh, how much? Uh, 195 mm. Alright? So, ito yung ating A. So, kukunin natin yung A. So, alam na natin yung area niyan. No? The area of that is equal to 87,246. And that area is equal to 360 times A plus 195 times 100 times 2. Is this clear? 360 times A plus 195 times 100 and then times 2. Kasi dalawa, 195, 195. Okay, this times 2 there. And that is equal to 87,246 square mm. Okay? So, with that, we can solve the value of A and that's 134 millimeters. Okay? So, tama. No? Nagpas talaga siya ng 100. Okay. Then, i-check natin kasi nag-assume tayo na mag yung steel. Okay? I-check natin kung mag talaga. Kulin natin yung C. So, now that we have our A, so, ito yung ating, by the way, ito yung ating forces, no? ito yung ating T. And ito naman yung ating uh, C sub C, yung compression in concrete. And let's divide this into two. The one acting on this uh, overhanging plants and the one acting on this red portion here. Ayan. I'll call it C2. The moment arms we have here, the moment arm of this two C2 is equal to D minus half of A. While the moment arm of the T to C1 will be D minus half of the slab thickness. Okay. So, ayun. So, check natin kung tama yung assumption natin. Let's solve for C. C is equal to A over beta 1. Take note, your beta 1 is 0.85. Okay. So, ang value ng C is equal to 134 divided by beta 1 and that is 157.65. Okay. Then, compute natin yung stress dito using the formula. The tensile stress, that uh, the stress in the tension steel is uh, Fs equals 600 times D minus C over C. Alright, your D is equal to 600. Your C is 157.65. Substitute. Ayan. And that will give us 1,684 MPa. Okay, so meaning tama yung assumption natin na nag -yield. That's more than 1,000. Yield talaga. Tama. Sinabi ko lang ha, most likely. Huwag lang siguro, aabot yan ng 15 bars. Pero most kadalasan talaga, T-beams, the tension still will yield. Basta reasonable lang yung number of bars mo ha. I'm saying that. Na? Okay, ito nga, napakalaki na yan. 828mm, napakadami na yan. Okay? And aside from that, this is tension control. Why? Because our FS, FS is more than 1,000 MPa. Na? The strain there is more than 0 0.005 If you divide this by 200,000 So since it is more than 1,000 MPa Therefore, yung reduction factor natin is 0.9 It is tension control Okay na So tama yung assumption natin We already have the values of A, C And we know that the extension still will yield Then to compute the moment The nominal moment It will be the moment caused by the, ang pinakamandali dito is caused by C1 and C2 na lang tayo. Na? C2, the moment arm is D minus A over 2. And C1, the moment arm is D minus T over 2. We will take moment about T. Okay? So, the nominal strength. Ito. Uh, jump tayo. Na? The nominal strength is equal to C1 times the moment arm plus C2 times the moment arm. Did you get that? Okay. C1, C2, they are both the stress the force in concrete and that is 0.85 FC prime times the, their corresponding areas factor ko na lang yung 0.85 FC prime ha? I hope you can follow this one ito yung mangyayari dyan I just factor this out 
Then yung C1 natin is the area C1. Area is equal to 195 times 100 times 2. Ito yun. That's for the C1. The moment arm is D minus T over 2. And ito naman yung para sa C2. Na? That will be area is 360 times A. Your A is 134. And the moment arm is D minus A over 2. Okay? I hope you have no problem with that. Okay, so substitute, simplifying that, that will give you 1,102.4 kilonewton meter. Okay, so that is the nominal strength. So nominal strength, yeah. Okay, so finally, the design strength, no? uh, we know again, your reduction factor is 0.9, so the design strength is phi times mn. Okay, so that will give you 992.2 kilo newtons. All right, that is your answer. Okay, so nakuha nyo, madali lang. Madali lang talaga to pag alam mo yung principle. Pero pag minimorize mo yung formula, I can understand, mahirap talaga. Na? Okay, so I hope you learned a lot from this uh, video tutorial. Na? So please don't forget to like our video. Yun lang talaga yung ano, yung ano nyo, uh, magandang gawin nyo. Na? Like nyo lang and then share nyo with your friends. Yun lang talaga. Para, I know, makakatulong to. Ang daming video ngayon nag, uh, ano, dahil sa lockdown, ang daming video naglilitawan sa YouTube. So marami kayong choices. Marami kayong pagpipilian. Na? So, this is uh, for those who are uh, busy or cannot go out take, uh, to take the review. And even to engineers no, who na, nakalimutan na yung mga uh, principles. Okay? So, next part natin, uh, I will show you T-beam pa rin. I will uh, do this series of T-beams. Okay? Ang didiscuss natin T-beams and then how to compute the balance and the maximum steel area. Balance area and the maximum steel area of T-beam using the 2015 NSCP. Okay? So again, thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified every time we have new videos. Thank you so much for watching.